I don't There's know no what I did. Sixth grade too. I'm scared that it's starting to die. Going firmware issues and errors. Because that's more size. Like, you need to reset your firmware. And then I just let it sit for 20 minutes. And it started working all of a sudden. So, I don't know. Oh man, it is so hot. I think I'm going to start leaving my AC on almost 24 7 because I can't cool my place down. I realize now after the AC I had in Bangkok how terrible my AC is here. What up, Temp? What up, Seven? The music's already going on downstairs. So, uh, I'll just take my dinner down there. And we'll eat and have tea by the music people. I don't think they'll mind. done preparing just gotta chop up a couple things yeah 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 chop up a zucchini <laughs> I'm wearing my old man grandpa shirt Chat picked it out. Chat told me to buy it. Airbnb nearly flooded today as I was leaving. It was excellent timing for a disaster to happen. And when I say excellent timing, I mean very bad timing. I had to leave because I had to get on the airplane. Hopefully they're not too upset about that. Oh. 
Trying to cut the meat off the bone sticks. Hard. I was gonna have to stream on my phone tonight. Maybe the tear deck won't work tomorrow again when I try it. I don't know. I might have to start using backup setup, like the one from Bangkok. Chicken, fish, apple, cucumber. Just boiled some eggs for tomorrow. Sort of 
mobility aspect of it, the robotics, the perception, and the oh. planning control. It's probably the same part of the way the action is. They have the microscopic sample collection. So basically you have to first clean your vehicle, make sure it doesn't have any earth-like things on it, and then you have to put it into some kind of thing that's perfectly safe from the virus, so if we bring it back or we analyze it, it's not... Um, it's not going to bring anything else like to like external it. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's 15 be minutes, maybe. It's better than nothing, I guess. Been, uh, Hopefully they go longer today again, again like they did last week. On the surface, quite recently, there's some neat photos you can find online. And it's, they kind of look like a lightsaber hilts. Which, <laughs> so, um, the, yeah, to me, I, I think I said that, like, uh, you know, this weapon is your yeah. life. Like, don't lose a curiosity, yeah. because uh, it's just, just turn the camera outside and back it's, yeah, down. And it's scooping up these things, and the intention is so it should work. Camera's a little bit tilted, but does the job. Okay. We'll just wear sandals, cause not even leaving the building. stream phone since we don't need it now I thought we were what up Ryan <laughs> can't hear the music tonight still going. It's so much quieter this time. Only it's loud as fuck. Good day. Yeah. Just having my post-workout kneel to acoustic music. I got back in pretty good time. Maybe my fastest time ever. But I couldn't get my apartment cooled down for about three hours, so I fainted and went to the gym. Now we're here. Here, Britney Spears. Quick, it's Britney. She's back. She's Britney, bitch.
No one in the chat's clapping? Come on, guys. Why not? Ryan says she's trying too hard? Oh. Couldn't find an email? You guys too boomer to email now? Okay. Fun. I'm eating my dinner fun. I ordered a big light cheese. said it's horrible so it must be something with the camera I think we had a different singer this time I don't recognize her it looks like a curtain yeah, all you guys older than me, it makes you think of your grandma's house. That's why you like it, huh? Grandma's comfort.
10 o'clock, they're done. Yeah. I haven't finished half my dinner yet. <laughs> Missy Blossoms. Wow. Thank you. Wow, you didn't have to do that. Appreciate the sub. All the way from Bangkok. I'm back in Saigon now. Can't chat unless you're sub. Oh! Oh, whoops. Yeah, I forgot to put it in sub mode. Some guy from England keeps making five accounts and talking to himself in my chat. It's beginning to annoy me, so I just put it in the sub mode so I don't have to watch him talk to himself. How's Vietnam? I don't know, I just got here. Hot? Hot, no rain. I don't know how. Bangkok, a lot of rain. Here, no rain. Turbulence on the airplane ride coming here. That's fun. So I lived here for a long time. No, not actually that long. Just a couple months. Not Singapore bad, but like one level before getting there. I couldn't believe they were serving food and drinks to some people. It just seems so dumb to do. I was in Vietnam for just a couple months. Pretty hot, no rain. Yeah, I'll post the video by tomorrow. I took some clips. The pilot even warned us of turbulence ahead of time. Dude, the Chinese tourists are so dumb. They're just like getting up and walking around when they shouldn't have been. It was getting like really rocky. And like, dude, they're so dumb. I've never seen such dumb people in my life. Dude. 
I prefer Thailand or Vietnam. I prefer Canada. Or the snow. Because it's cold. Here it's too hot. I mean, it's kind of the same as going to America. See, Asian girls have this fantasy of going to Australia, but that's kind of it. Nobody else. <laughs> I'd go for a vacation though. Maybe. I mean, just to see Sydney, but like. Yeah, it's kind of just the same thing. Unless I'm gonna go hunt some roos and emus. That would be funny. I guess it's open karaoke now. They're already on their scooters and leaving. Maybe they can play somewhere else. They got other quick. Would I box a kangaroo? No, I'd, I'd run away. I would totally run away in fear. I'd be too scared. But yeah, yo, Australia is really expensive too. Australia was just complaining about the price of his cheeseburger in sub shop. Saying like, shit just ain't worth it no more. I do want to go there though for the uh, gamer conventions or whatever. Is it like a PAX? PAX Australia or something. Uh, oh yeah, was it fast food? Was that McDonald's he had? $16 combo meal from McDonald's in Australia? What the fuck? I mean, it's probably the same in California, but... It's still crazy.
Damn. South Africa is cheap. That might even be less than here. I think I got around three bucks here. Three, three fifty. That's kind of cool, I guess. Although, bad to eat fast food all the time. Yours are ten bucks. I think it's about American average outside of New York, Miami, and California. Around ten bucks. Oh, maybe outside Chicago too, if you want. <laughs> uh, let me see Australia's photo. Was it really McDonald's? Called a New Yorker. Mm. Hmm. I don't think it's McDonald's. It's pretty simple though. In case you're not on Discord, I'll show you. Yeah. I wouldn't get that either. Gus told you he needs to pay $20 for a meal at McDonald's. Oh, and Cali. Yeah, shit's insane there. But it's still perspective. Salaries are pretty insane there too. Pay more, make more. Make more, pay more. Make less, pay less. Oh, 
hope we reach a cap. Inflation is forever. Well, I don't think anyone's income grows with inflation. But it's better than deflation. And a recession. This place cleared out. Fender speakers? Wow. Sometimes they have karaoke across the street too, but it's a quiet night. Need those side hustles. Yep. Need that Bitcoin. Keep out. Mm. Oh man. Last time I was here, there was a flying cockroach and a rat running around for a half hour. Nothing tonight. Let's we'll see.
Yep, we're at my apartment. Flight was turbulent and full of loud Chinese people. I just canceled all my job apps to Shanghai. I'm not going there. I changed my mind. Oh my god! We're like getting in line to go up the, in, the, the escalator for international flights, and one of the aunties is screaming, Fiji Piao! Fiji Piao! Fiji Piao! As if she's giving like battle orders, because they're at war, and we're just getting in queue to go up an escalator, handing them our boarding tickets. It's like, relax. Holy shit, why are you yelling? And why are you yelling boarding ticket? Just fucking get in line. They're, they're just so rude, man. They're so rude. No manners, that's why. Like coughing and sneezing without covering their faces on the plane and shit. They're just, yeah. People, man. No manners. better or worse I can understand them. It's always better to understand. So I can understand that they're yelling over nothing. There's, there's nothing going on. Just talking except screaming. If you didn't know that's how they normally are, you might be concerned that something's actually going on. And it's been so long since I've been around those kinds of people that I forgot. But it's been like that since the dawn of time. It's not new. Blah, have a good Saturday night. I guess the party is over. No more show. The other one outside though.
I like watching soccer at the coffee shops. See the TV screens in it. Feels like a hundred and two degrees. Nice. Did I sleep? No. Too much turbulence. Hitting my head on the wall. Shaking too much. After I landed, uh, not really. I laid down because it was too hot to move. I can't cool my place down. I should have just gone to the gym. It's so hard. And not even to work out, but it's colder inside the gym than it is in my house. Just go there and sit there. But no, nah, I was just doing chores, grocery shopping. Nostalgia. Downloading songs of LimeWire and immediately giving your computer a virus.
So even if I set up a business here, which is legal and is possible, it wouldn't necessarily give you a longer term visa. Which sounds kind of weird, but like you can be part owner of a company. You can even own a house here and not have a visa to stay a year or long term beyond that. You can buy a condo as a tourist. I guess I've been doing visa runs for a long time now. So, I mean, what's the difference? But yeah, it is getting a little tiring. Forced vacations, basically. Um, yeah, the only way is to be employed by somebody else or get married. Starting your own business wouldn't um, be enough to qualify. Mm, I don't even think they have in-person employment rules here in regards to that. Like they do in Thailand. You have to have four employees in Thailand. And it's kind of straightforward. I'm pretty sure they don't have that here. They just don't offer that as an option. The only other thing would be uh, investments of like $100,000 plus. Maybe, uh, well, I'm sure a lot of people who start businesses here, especially multiple, can make that amount in sales and then put that back into their company and consider it an investment and somehow apply for it, right? Like it was something to work up to. But obviously that's like beyond most people's abilities. Take a, take a while. Can't do it overnight. But, um, uh, there's some guys, especially younger guys, who do it with family money. Like, they might have a rich dad and they take that family money towards their investment or startup. So, like, no one's, no one's really starting with their own money. I think you'd be hard off finding a foreigner here running a business who, like, is really self-made. How it is very unlikely. Hi, Ibu. But yeah, I mean, I could get a job here, but it just means it's gonna <clears throat> hack into my streaming time, right? It'll mess it up. guy that bought a bar in Koh Lanta. Um, <clears throat> I have some, I've seen some ads recently for people selling their bars here in Vietnam. They want to sell the business and at least, at least take over their building. Uh, I'm sure in multiple different cities because everyone's still doing the pandemic bounce back and like 
Yeah. It's not a lot of money to buy them. It's like 10 grand. You can buy their entire business and just move in. Stream yourself working. Only if you're working legally. <clears throat> but yeah. You gotta be more careful in places like Thailand now. Uh, Cause even a volunteer work is illegal in Thailand under a tourist visa. So if you're out on the beach picking up trash and you're live streaming yourself, you could get in trouble there. Because it's just what they're doing there, being weird. K is definitely more than enough. Mm. But it, it's even less here. Yeah. But it's a lot less busier here too. Thailand is way busier than Vietnam. Which is probably why it was a relief, like, getting out of the airport here and just, like, being back to a little bit of normal and less crazy. There's a TikToker from the UK that started a weed shop on Copenhagen, I think. One of them islands during the weed rush. But he's so good at using his TikTok for being an influencer and inviting tourists to come that like they're expanding now and um, like just took over and are opening a hotel now. So the growth is definitely a lot more explosive there than it is here. Cracking down on the foreigners there, yeah. But to be fair, there's so much crazy shit going on. Like, the like German Russian gang shit going on around Phuket and like hiding body parts in fridges. Like, just so bizarre. So weird. Like, they should be hunting those people down.
Most of them is people just overstaying their visas though, and not by like days or months, like two, five years, seven years. People going there, getting houses, and then not leaving their houses very often to try and hide. So they're doing just spot checks on the street outside 7-Elevens if they see you're a tourist trying to like nab those older deeds. delay in the sounds maybe no one complained yet but yeah I couldn't get my tear deck working and I turned on my camera late so it's probably messed up Like every day on TikTok, there's more news posts of multiple year overstays in Thailand. Pretty much a local now. It's just laziness, isn't it? It's just like laziness, decrepitness. How could you let that happen? Surely you could have found a way. But I guess you get in so deep, there is no coming back once you're in too deep, is there? Once two, three years go by, what's another five years? The penalty is gonna be the same permanent ban and fines. There's a lot of turbulence on the airplanes. Same one with same similar route with Singapore. And not caused by rain. Uh, another pilot, also on TikTok, was trying to explain like what causes the turbulence. And um, like one case is the hot air from the ground coming up and the cold air coming down. And so it'll shake the plane. And it's been so fucking hot, like abnormally hot. There's like these heat pulses that just wreck the planes and you can't you can't predict where it'll happen because the weather radar are for moisture and rain it's not detecting like airflow from the surface of the earth <laughs> Yeah, I made a I made a short video of the turbulence, kind of expecting it to be like the Singapore one. Obviously, 
nothing went flying. But it was the worst turbulence I've seen in years. Normally there's nothing. At least the aircon was working though. Dude, my flight to Thailand, there was no climate control in the airplane. What a piece of shit. I should get like partial refund. Can I pay extra money for air conditioning next time? Just sweating our asses off sitting there. Everyone's trying to fan themselves with like the food menus. How terrible is that? Head aircon coming back today though. Also the airports are a little bit faster. They've got more staff. But the day of the week affects it too. I try to pick lower traffic days and time. But it's definitely the fastest compared to past couple trips. I wonder if you can apply for permanent residency after that long. That's not how it works. No, you cannot. Only a few countries are special like that. But you have to be locally employed. Taiwan was one of those special places where you can teach English for five years straight, and after five years, you can apply for permanent residency card and uh, come and go as much as you want and work any job as much as you want. Permanent residency. But they're about to be blown off the map by China right now, so I don't know if like, that's a good goal for most people. Kind of risky. Can't apply for anything if your stay is illegal. At least not there. In America, you can. All the asylum seekers. close here in nine minutes. Start going back up maybe.
I got air con upstairs anyway. They're building chip factories in like Arizona or something in an effort to not have them all in Taiwan. So it's going to be split up. I wonder if there's any in Vietnam, because they're moving like Apple stuff, I mean the iPhone stuff to Vietnam. Ah, uh, no mercy. Oh my god. Oh, they just do the assembly in here? Loud cheering outside. This looks like a full moon tonight. Is that a bug?
Maybe a dead one. Something was flying in here, setting off my security system a couple times while I was gone. But yeah, I was just at the grocery store and I'm setting my food on the counter for the lady to ring it up. And there's three cockroaches just like walking on the counter and the scales and stuff. And I'm just like, please don't go in my bag. Please don't go in my bag. Please don't go in my bag. How can the lady keep working like that? Just coexisting with the roaches. Bring some home, it's probably from there. Yeah. Chat loves roach content. It's my favorite kind of content. Have you ever noticed when roaches arrive, CJ leaves like a few weeks later? Um, is it? No, oh, it's only happened one time. It only happened one time. If I leave here, it's gonna be because of the heat. I can't cool down my apartment. Get a protein shake. I forgot to make one. And I have 
have no more Nespresso. Rip. But yeah, I'm ready to move anytime. Maybe, uh, maybe I will in the next three months. Um, I might have to. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't have a choice. Do some quick math. We'll kind of see after I get into the flow for like a month, but I don't have to. But it's okay. There's no need to stay in this polluted district. It's been a good start because it's relatively convenient. But, um, that's kind of all it is. It's just a place to start. It's not a place to, to live long term. Not even for people from here. There's just too many nicer places, nicer districts, or just nicer cities. Yep. Am I thinking long term? Yeah, of course. Always thinking long term. That's why I'm out of cash. Every time I go somewhere, I'm, I'm trying to go for the long term, and then it doesn't work out. And then I lose whatever investment I have made. Um, I'm talking cities, towns, both, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at all options. I, I have some ideas um, where I could still uh, make the stream work. It's gonna be different though, no matter how you look at it. But, mm, just what it is. But I'm okay with that at this point. Unless we want to do like full time Valheim streaming or something, but. time wow yeah well I, I just mean like with PC streams you're not really location dependent you're not weather dependent you're not whatever so of course it's easier to do Race to 60. 
Yeah, I am considering that. You're out 4 a.m. there? Dang! Oh, yeah, it's Saturday night. All right, catch you later, man. Have a good one. Shit, yeah, it's 11 here, too. Probably gonna go after this drink. I have two loads of wet clothes on the floor. I need to, like, hang up. We're gonna get stinky. Should I give up on the Valhy mod pack? Be honest. Is it too little too late? Can I save it? There's been, like, updates from the modders coming out every week since the Ashlands update, and it's just like, god damn it. <laughs> it's a freaking full-time job managing that. You want it to be good. I was uh, setting up Unity last night so I can look up the uh, uh, C sharp reference code so I can fix the scaling of a crafting window on someone's mod. But other than that, all my like programming stuff is done. Just more configuration work because everything keeps changing. What are we cooking? Chicken, fish, cucumber, apple, protein shake, creatine. Oh yeah, I cooked my eggs. I'm not eating any tonight. I'll save that for the morning. It kind of grosses me out. Yeah. I'd rather eat anything over hard boiled eggs. My limit is like two before wanting to puke. Gonna be pretty huge soon. Well, not that soon. But, yeah, I'm gonna take it a lot more serious now than I have in the past seven years. I'm just not even, I'm not gonna worry about budget. I'm not gonna worry about scheduling. I'm just gonna, like, do what you have to do to actually get there even if it wrecks my bank account or stream schedule <laughs> I guess 
I'm just gonna do it. Because I miss being huge. And then once I'm huge, I can become an exotic dancer. But not too huge. You guys are probably gonna ask me on gear because that's like what people always ask guys if they're in good shape. Because people assume that like a good physique isn't possible without performance enhancing drugs, but it is actually possible. Yeah, um. Dude, I, I don't think I could get above 185 pounds, but that would be like a goal of mine. In the, in the 80s, 180 to 185. I don't even think I could reach 190. It's not possible. Eating would have to be like the only thing I do. No, no job, no stream, no working, just straight eating really over the top, but that wouldn't be fun either. It's not like that fun force feeding yourself. I'm already force feeding myself as it is. Not too huge. Ninety kg. Yeah, eighty kg would be good for my height to look fuller, and then ninety kg would be buff for sure. I've never weighed that much in my whole life, but I could probably get it if I push hard. For well, it'll it'll take me six months to reach that. Really, a lot of chicken runs. You're 86? Dang. Really? I'm only like 73, man. I got that weight gainer right there that makes me throw up. Might start that up again. I feel bad buying it and not using it because it's so expensive. Eighty-four. Right, let me see what that is in pounds. Oh, oh, oh! That was what I was aiming for. Maybe one eighty-five point one eight eight. Ooh.
cool. Oh dang. Yeah, lots of buff people in Thailand. God, it was so weird going to the gym here again tonight. I don't get it, man. I've only been working out for a week and still bigger than everybody else in there. All the dudes are so skinny. I like Muscle Factory because you get like motivation being around a bunch of serious buff people but then you come here and it's just skinny guys playing on their phones on the weight benches and it's like wow Just here for the air conditioning too, huh? Yeah, me also. <laughs> to be fair, a lot of people at Muscle Factory on gear. Yeah, but I don't care. It's just like a clear deficiency in calories here. Especially when you don't make as much money, like you can't afford to eat six chicken meals a day. It's not possible. So you notice that, mm, especially younger people who aren't working. Oh, the gyms are packed, man. It was so packed tonight. I hate it. It's too many people. Saturday night. It's 9 o'clock at night on Saturday and it's packed and I'm waiting for shit. But it's a busy neighborhood too, so. go for a more expensive gym? Yeah, that's the only way to do it. Yeah. But I haven't done it yet because that's going to be like an extra $150 a month for me because of the taxi rides to get there plus the more expensive membership. Probably won't do that until I'm ready to purchase my own scooter, which will happen eventually, but not yet.
Yeah, just gotta wait for the right time. More fit people probably go to those gyms anyway, because it's like, if you're gonna pay more for your workout, you're probably more seriously into it, take it more serious. Okay. Well, I might go finish the laundry chores. Pick up games to play on stream. Is Missy Paw streaming or is she just jumping in here to say hi? When last I opened the supermarket soon? Like a week. Last weekend. Yeah, uh, probably will tomorrow. figure it out. I don't know why I couldn't get myself to do it in that insane asylum in Bangkok, but my PC is ready to go here. All right, I'm going to raid Fuzz. He hasn't streamed in a long time. He moved to Wisconsin for work, and he's just rebuilding his stream setup for fishing today. So I think it's his first live in a while. I met him two years ago when I lived in Bangkok. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye.